What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Marks 2K bringing you guys another video. This time I'm going to be playing 2K11. I started playing a little bit with my friends because we're trying to get ready for NBA 2K14's crew mode. The difference here is that 2K11's controls are way different than what 2K14's is going to be. So I basically got to... I guess, I guess you can say we're practicing, you know, for our teamwork, our camaraderie, and uh, what kind of plays we'll run on the 5v5 blacktop we call crew mode. But before I get into this commentary, what do you guys think about 2K14's crew mode? Do you think it needs to be way improved? Do you not care that it's outside on the blacktop? And I think this is the reason why we picked 2K11 to start practicing on, because it's outside on the blacktop. We can get real used to it. We can get our plays going, and... You know, we can see where we're at as a team because we haven't played crew mode nor blacktop in so long. It's been three years, so 3v3, you can't count that as crew mode. So we jumped into 2K11, tried to find a couple pickup games. Of course, not a lot of people are playing it. We're not going to get 5v5 matchups. This time we got 2v2 with me, my man T-Pugs. He got matched up on the other team. He's going to shoot that three right there, and he hits it. But, we're going to get into this game. See, there's a reaching foul right there. I got that pick off. Pass it back to my man, Royalty, or Loyalty. He's a pretty good player. I mean, he's the first person I've ever seen in 2K11 crew mode or pickup game. He's the first person I've ever seen pass the ball. This dude passes the ball. We set each other up so much. It was just chemistry from the jump. You see right there, I get blocked going into the paint. That's refreshing right there. Seeing my shot get blocked in 2K11. Seeing dunks get blocked at the last second. That's refreshing, man. I want to play that more. I want to play 2K11 way more just because I see stuff like that happening. Now, that was a horrible shot. That was a horrible shot to end the first quarter. And you see, it's a really close game so far. Me and my man, Loyalty... We said I need, oh, look at that block. That was a vicious block right there. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. Shots get blocked. It's just, it's, 2K11 just has a realism to it that you just want to keep playing and just keep playing. But right there, he gets the and one. Good shot by him. My man t Pug's going into the paint, cheesing with the hop step already. And he gets the ball stolen. I'm going to go for that easy dunk. Look at that dunk. Urgh. <laughs> but halfway through the second quarter, we're winning by three. We had T-Pug sitting in the corner. He has a really good big man doing standing dunks. And, I mean, he shouldn't be cheesing like he is, but, you know. He has a pretty good small forward. He's a pretty big small forward. At least he's not hacked. None of our players are hacked, by the way. Look at that spin dunk. You see, I'm talking about 2K11 with the blocks. His spin dunk just got blocked. In 2K13, you did a spin move with LeBron. That's, that's going in and one every day. But I'm going to bring the ball up in the corner. Shoot that three. Bang. One second left in the second quarter. Give me that. Third quarter. In the corner for the two. Lord, two just sets me up every time. This is why. I mean, you got to add to one like that. I mean, I'm going to look out for him when it comes to crew mode in 2K14. He's a pretty good player when it comes to crew mode. Look at that pump fake. And we just passed the ball each other. We're trying to set each other up. I'm deep in the corner. That was a selfish play by him. I'm not going to lie. 16 seconds left in the third. Let's see what Pug's going to do right here. He's posting up. And doesn't go in. Five seconds left. I'm getting this corner right here. Ah, oh, I didn't get the shot off. It's still a very close game. 39 to 38. I mean, 2K11 is fun, dude. I'm telling you, like, the pickup games, even though you don't find a lot of people, is real fun. It's just, it's it's exciting. That's all I'm going to say. Especially when you play close games like this. 2K14 has to be like this, dude. And it's coming like that. 
after seeing the gameplay on my channel, what do you guys think of 2K14 so far? 51 50. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. He's gonna spot up that three. Doesn't make it. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go in the corner. Spot up with a three pointer. Dang, I missed. Dang, that might be the game, guys. 10 seconds left in the fourth. Oh, he's gonna drive in the paint. He misses. Oh, pass the ball. Three seconds left. Marcus Jordan popping up with a three. Hits it. We're going into overtime. Tied the game with that three pointer. I like that ball movement. This is what I'm talking about. 2K11 is fun and exciting. If you guys want to play some pickup games, message me. I'm opening all takers, all challenges. Pass that back out. I'm going to go in the paint. Block. Oh! Did you guys see that dunk? My dunk got blocked at the last second. I was getting ready to jam that. And that was so wide open right there. I was getting ready to jam that in. That was a crazy block. That was so crazy. That was a really bad reaching foul. But we're going to end up taking this win. Good gameplay by my man T-Pugs. What is this guy doing? He left the party. He's not playing. But we're going to end up taking this game, guys. And look at the points. Look at the distribution. Assist. He gets 30. I get 34. That was a great crew game, but if you guys do like this video, please leave a like and comment. This is Marks2K, and I'm out.